Hey, Kartik here with Devil Lab and welcome to the fifth video in our Dialogue Flow series. In this video, we are going to see how to use knowledge bases. Imagine you had a company or a product and your customers had just had a lot of questions. Now you have a document typically known as FAQ or frequently asked questions or some sort of a knowledge base. But your customer still ask you, the owner, all the questions. Now that's time that you could have invested in other operations. But now imagine if you had an agent to whom your customers could talk and get answers. This agent or bot will read through your FAQ or your knowledge base and give you the correct answers. Time saving, right? That's what knowledge bases allow you to do. You can provide a document or a URL to Dialogflow to your, of your knowledge base and build an agent that can answer your frequently asked questions. So let's get started. I already have a in agent here, which will which we will use for this demo. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go into the settings here. And here I'm just going to enable beta features and API because this is a beta feature. So I'll just enable this here, click on save. And now once that is done, I'm just going to go here to knowledge base here, knowledge beta here. Now, when I click here, you will see that uh, it says that there is no knowledge base that has been created yet. So let's just create the first one here. And I'm just going to call it as dialogue flow knowledge base. And let's just click on save. Now, once I have created a knowledge base, what's going to happen is I can add multiple documents to this knowledge base. Uh, and for this purpose, for this demo purpose, I'm going to use the pricing FAQ of Dialogflow. Now you could also use a document, but for this purpose, we are just going to go here and just copy this FAQ, um, FAQ page and give it to Dialogflow. Now you can see this is a very simple FAQ page, uh, which something looks like there's a question and there's an answer. So there are a few questions here about Dialogflow and the answers as well. So let's see how we can go ahead with this. I'm just going to go back to dialogue flow here. Uh, no knowledge document has been created yet. Let's create the first one. I'm just going to call it dialogue flow pricing document, right? And what is the knowledge type of this? The knowledge type of this is FAQ. Basically you have a question and the answer or then you have knowledge base article as well, but that is experimental right now. So we are just going to see FAQ here. I'll click on FAQ and this is most important. Uh, we have to tell uh, Dialogflow what type of document is this? Is this an HTML document or a CSV document? This is an HTML document. So I'm just going to click on HTML and out here, I'll just click on URL and just provide the URL. But you can also upload a file on the Google Cloud Storage and use that as well. Or you could upload a file from your computer. So I'm just going to click on URL here and click on create. Alright, so I'm just going to fast forward this. All right, so now that the document has been saved here, the next thing that I need to do here is just click on save. And then once that is done, I'm just going to click on add response here. Now, what this does basically is when I click on add response, you would see that the text response is basically dollar knowledge dot answer of one, which means if I'm asking a question to the agent and the response comes back from the knowledge base, pick the first answer and show it to the user. So let's just try this out and see how this works. I'm just going to click on save again. And once that is done, I'm just going to go here and train my assistant. Once the agent training has completed, let's just go ahead and ask a question to the dialogue flow agent. Uh, let's take one question from here. So there's this question where a user asks what is dialogue flow standard edition and then there's an answer for that. So let's go ahead and test it out. I'm just going to say something like what is dialogue flow standard edition. And there we go. You have a default response and the response that we got is pretty much what matches 
uh, with the answer that was supplied here. So what's happening behind the scenes is it's asking whatever question the user has asked, it just looks for the appropriate answer in the entire pricing document and then just responds back with it. But let's try this with a different version of the question because not everyone is going to ask what is Dialogflow Standard Edition. Let's say if we said something like, tell me about Dialogflow Standard Edition. And well, you got the answer for this as well, which is the same. So you can see how easy that was. Now, before we finish this, let's just quickly look into something else uh, while we are at it. Now, primarily for all our, all our videos, we have been just testing it using either the simulator tool uh, or the Google Actions tool. Uh, but for this example, we are just going to go ahead and create an external integration to map up with this uh, Dialogflow agent. So for that, I'm just going to go inside integrations here and out here in integrations, you can see that there are a lot of integrations available here. For the purpose of this demo, I'm, to go, I'm going to go ahead with Telegram here. Let me just click on Telegram. Now, once I click it, uh, click this, uh, there's appropriate documentation for each and every in, uh, integration. Uh, for this example, uh, Telegram is asking us to create a Telegram access token from uh, from the bot father. So let's just go ahead and open Telegram here. And I have bot father here. So I'm just going to go here and say something like new bot. Now, once it, it asks me for a new uh, name for my bot, so let's just say Dabble Lab Demo Bot. And it's asking for a username, so I'm just going to call this Dabble Lab underscore demo underscore bot. So there we go. We have this uh, token that has been created. So I'm just going to copy this token here from Telegram and let's come back to. Um, dialog flow here and provide this token here now once i have done that uh, let me just click on start here now it is checking status and once that is done what happens is the bot has been started so let's go ahead and test out this bot um, we can open this bot here itself the uh, the bot father provides us the link as well so let me just click on this one here and click on start now once i click on start it's going to ask me, how can I help you? I'll tell it, tell me something about dialogue flow standard edition. And there we go. This is how you would integrate any ex external integration with Telegram, uh, with dialogue flow. Now for this demo, we had used Telegram, but you can, like I mentioned, you can use Facebook Messenger, Slack, Viber, Twitter, or any of them. And all of this integration is pretty easy. All you have to do is just click on this and then follow the documentation here and then just integrate that service with your Dialogflow agent. All right, so that's how Dialogflow's knowledge bases and external integration work. I hope you understood the concept behind this and I look forward to see what you build based out of this video. As usual, if you found this video helpful, please like it and subscribe to the Dabble Lab YouTube channel where we have new videos coming out every week on everything related to chatbot and voice development. That's it from me. Until then, thank you.